is Ramaphosa about to be impeached? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the News in 5. I don't really have a big intro, so I'm just going to say thank you to all the new subscribers and thank you to the old subscribers who keep coming back and watching my content. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing, leaving a like and sharing the video. With all that being said, let's get into this one. Cyril Ramaphosa, South African president, faces threat of impeachment over Farmgate. Don't get too excited. The president has been accused of covering up a $4 million theft from his farm in 2020, including kidnapping and bribing the burglars into silence. A late report from an independent panel has found that Mr. Ramaphosa abused his position and may have broken an anti-corruption law. He denied any wrongdoing and said the money was from selling a buffalo. Right. So Ramaphosa was quick to respond, ladies and gentlemen, and in a statement said this, I have endeavored throughout my tenure as president not only to abide by my oath, but to set an example of respect for the Constitution, for its institutions, for due process and the law. I categorically deny that I have violated this oath in any way. And I similarly deny that I am guilty of any of the allegations made against me. Right. It now remains to be seen how the ANC Parliamentary Caucus, which previously stepped up to defend its president, will respond. The Section 89 Independent Assessment Panel Report must be adopted by the House to come into force and lead to the next step, which is the establishment of an impeachment committee. And the report has some interesting findings. For example, there was deliberate intention not to investigate the commission of the crimes committed by the Palapala openly. The request to the Namibian police to handle the matter with discretion confirms this intention. The president abused his position as head of state to have the matter investigated and seeking the assistance of the Namibian president to apprehend a suspect. There is more foreign currency concealed in the sofa than the amount reflected in the acknowledgement of receipt. This raises the source of the additional currency. And there are still some big questions that remain. Why the theft at the president's home was not reported properly or to any other police officer than the head of the presidential protection detail and why the saps requested their Namibian counterparts to handle the matter with discretion. Curiouser and curiouser. <laughs> The National Assembly has to adopt this report that is scheduled for the 6th of December and is set to be a raucous debate and vote. And a raucous debate and vote it will be. I'd like to know your thoughts on this, but personally, let me just say, I don't have much hope for this. It isn't the first time that Cyril's been put in a corner. He couldn't give a shit. Sorry for my French. And every time he is, he always seems to get out of it. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see how the 6th of December goes. Ah yes, thanks Soramasaurus. If you enjoy this content, you might enjoy these videos. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think Cyril is going to be impeached? With all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the rest of your day, stay safe, be kind to one another, and I'll see you at the next one. Cheers.